Scientists achieve brain-to-brain -brain communication between humans. University of Washington researchers devised a method that allows two people to send instructions to a third person in order to solve a task using only their minds. Language, regardless of whether it's spoken, motioned or composed, is the thing that permits people to communicate and impart their particular musings to other people. Without language, we may very well too be secret elements. Later on, nonetheless, there might be different method for refined correspondence that straightforwardly connect the minds of others, permitting them to speak with their musings alone as opposed to utilizing language. The language of the cerebrum. A group of neuroscientists, therapists, and PC researchers drove by a gathering from the University of Washington in Seattle as of late introduced BrainNet, the first multi-individual non-obtrusive direct cerebrum to mind interface for community-oriented critical thinking. Basically, what this crazy undertaking has figured out how to do is network the minds of three people so they could all together take care of an issue, accurately orientating a square so it would fit in the middle of two different squares. Two people went about as senders, as they could see the whole and send directions to a third person, who filled in as the recipient. The getting individual was dazed as to make him totally dependent on the senders for the right answer for the Tetris-like game. The two senders were furnished with electroencephalographs EEGs, that recorded their cerebrum movement, then, at that point shipped off the recipient by means of a PC interface. People are social creatures who speak with one another to participate and tackle issues that none of us can settle all alone," said Rajesh Rao, an educator at the University of Washington's Paul G. Allen School of Computer Science and Engineering. We needed to know whether a gathering of individuals could work together utilizing just their cerebrums. That is the manner by which we concocted the possibility of BrainNet, where two individuals assist a third individual with addressing an errand. To make things simpler, the senders needed to center their look at a high recurrence light source on the screen to flag the guidance to turn or to shine on a low recurrence light to flag not to pivot. The PC interface translated this sign into an attractive heartbeat that was conveyed to the beneficiary by means of a transcranial attractive incitement TMS, gadget. The beat made the getting singular C, a blaze of light in their visual field, a prompt that the square should be pivoted. No sign inside a decided time frame was the guidance not to turn the square. Five gatherings of people were tried over the BrainNet organization, which accomplished 80% precision in finishing the job after a few preliminaries. In ensuing tests, the analysts raised the trouble up a score by adding clamor to the signs sent by the senders. Yet, the beneficiary figured out how to observe the questionable sign from the sender's directions, an interaction that, as indicated by the analysts, copies a few highlights of regular interpersonal organizations. Already, other examination bunches had organized the cerebrums of rodents and primates. In one investigation, three primates were associated with the PC through embedded mind PC interfaces. They all needed to at the same time move a cursor to an objective with their considerations alone. During this example, the creatures weren't connected together yet rather performed equal handling, with each cerebrum contributing action towards the objective while making up for the absence of movement of others. Right now, the scientist showing on people is fairly restricted. You can utilize the arrangement just to transfer parallel, yes, or, no, guidelines. It's conceivable, be that as it may, to send more refined messages utilizing useful attractive reverberation imaging, fMRI. By a similar token, the collector's transcranial incitement can be designated to explicit cerebrum locales and organizations. In any case, practically talking, this is still a lot of the area of science fiction right now. That being said, the discoveries are certainly captivating while at the same time bringing up numerous philosophical issues. On the off chance that a human mind is able to do such a lot of innovativeness and craftsmanship, what could an organization of 2, 10, even 100 people? Furthermore, with the entirety of the present questionable discussion around online security, what would it be a good idea for us to think about an innovation that could some time or another entrance our own special musings?